Hey, it's IOD, and I'm bringing the second part of my video on just pen spinning in general. <clears throat> um, so where we left off is I think around like getting past the basics and what you can do, and I mean to start off, you know, I'd like to say because one thing that always bothers me is how people will have they'll have like two parts of a video, and you're like, why don't you just make it one part? Well, the reason is YouTube you won't let you upload a video past 15 minutes unless you verify your account. And I'm like, oh, well, no problem. But I can't figure out how. It's like you can verify by phone, but it's like, but how? And I can never figure that out. So, all the people who are like wondering why there's two parts, that's that's why for me at least. But, um, see, I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you guys what I did first. And, I mean, for me, getting past the basics... I mean, I, I'm going to say I learned the basics. I learned beyond that, such as, you know, Warp Sonics, uh, Moonwalk Sonics, just more simple stuff. And um, from there, I got one of these, Buster CYL, which I'm going to say is probably one of the worst decisions I made. And I want to tell you what happened as a result of that. As a result of that, my pen spinning progress was really slowed. My style just kind of disappeared. Uh, my combos got terrible. But I learned a bunch of power tricks. And honestly, that was not a good decision. One of the biggest things you're going to get hit for in the pen spinning community is getting a buster at like six months experience. And, you know, I'm going to agree with that. That buster there, I have not spun with it for more than a minute in probably three, four months. I mean, I don't really touch that thing anymore. Like, my max is probably gel tips, and <clears throat> I think buster is too heavy. Now, if you're doing, you know, like, intense tricks such as punk hands and high tools, I mean, a buster is reasonable, but you don't need it to learn tricks. Some people think the buster helps you learn tricks better, easier, faster, and I would have to disagree. Now, while I have to agree that you're probably going to learn a trick faster, you're not going to learn it better. And the reason for that is <clears throat> just the fact that it's so heavy and it gives you so much momentum, you have to perform less finger motion. Which, when learning a trick, it doesn't teach you the proper finger motion and how to get the trick better, which can really hurt you when you're trying to learn hybrids and other things later on. And I experienced that. I probably got a buster a bit too early. Now, for me, it wasn't really serious. I mean, I had already gotten some power-ish tricks, but, I mean, I probably got it, like, eight, nine months experience, and where I was, I really didn't need it. I don't think people really ever need a buster to learn. I mean, of course, unless you're going really, like, powerful tricks, but even then, I can do power tricks with, like, a waterfall or, like, a flying panda mod. Still don't think you need a buster there. <clears throat> now... <clears throat> Getting past the basics and a little bit past the basics, you know, simple, like, you know, not power tricks that involve less power, I would probably, around then, I would probably get a mod past the RSCP and such. I would probably go to penwish.com and order something like uh, a heavier, a heavier, uh, Kamsa mod, such as here I have a watermelon Kamsa mod. As you can see here, this is. It doesn't have, like, profile grips. It has G2 grips. Sailor Gel is going to be heavier. And this is this is going to give you a little bit of momentum. I mean, that's a good mod. Uh, I mean, you can also get something uh, such as uh, heavier MXs. Uh, what else will there be? I mean, basically, yeah. I mean, white comps, is, that's what I'd be starting with. Simple white comps, uh, and from there, <clears throat> I'd move on to tricks such as, like, Shadows, um, with one of those mods, and, uh, Demon Sonics, Devil Sonics, Devil's Rounds, I mean, start working on hybrids, Thumb Rounds, and probably start working on some combos, I mean, and this is all if you want to go that, you know, extra length in buying a pen, you have to order it, you know, I mean, some people, of course, aren't going to go that far, because they're not that serious about pen spinning, but then again, it's something I do in class, and if it keeps me entertained, you know, I'm happy. <clears throat> um, you know, about me, I, I, first mod I ever ordered from Penwish was a, 
It was like a Penwish Z stick, which it's a heavier ish mod, but it's not that great. I didn't like it that much. And from there, I used the. Uh, here's the mod that I used until I got a Buster. And I learned a large majority of my tricks with this mod. This is a white Kamsa, as you can see here. I have a G2 grip part here. I have, uh, I believe that's Sailor Gel here, and another black G2 ring on either side. So this is, uh, is going to be a heavier um, white comps just because of the extra grips, HGG tips. That's that's a gray mod right there. It's a personal mod, personal form, I guess, of grip styling. And, I mean, this isn't actually the original mod I had. I remade the mod just because I liked it so much. <clears throat> Uh, the original mod got lost in my dad's car under his seat, and then his car broke and he sold it, so I never found it again. But, um, I mean, otherwise, a uh, buster, I'd stay away from that, especially earlier. That's What that's going to do is that's going to teach your hand not to do much finger motion. Your hands are going to get sore. It's just not. I mean, generally, you don't need to be working on power tricks until, I mean, you don't even need to work on power tricks. I mean, you don't need power tricks, in my opinion. I mean, of course, if you're getting more into pen spinning, like, you know, going, making videos, competing in a world tournament and such, I mean, of course, you're using power tricks. But honestly, for average intermediate pen spinner, I don't say power tricks would have a place there. And, I mean, like I said, Buster's just... I mean, it's just too heavy. It's it's it, it ruins it for me. Basically, I got a buster, and then from there, I just went downhill for for a year. I made little to no progress. I don't even know what happened. And recently, I guess past four months, I've been trying to get back in. I mean, for me, I would just pen spin in class. I mean, there are other people who are pen spin, but I mean, I was probably the only one who took it that far, and I had the buster, which was. <laughs> I, I, when I look back on it now, I really regret getting my Buster. And it's a shame I don't use my Buster so much, because as you can see here, I have a pretty neat looking Buster. Um, it's blue. As you can see, I have colored tape under the grip there to add some extra color. And then I have uh, air fit ring, penwish rings, a lighter blue body with a bit darker blue caps. And I mean, it spins, it, it spins good for a Buster, but I, I just don't like the Buster that much. I mean... As you can see here, I have a gel tips buster. What gel tips buster is is it's the uh, use the tips from a AirFit gel uh, pen, and those tips are lighter. It's about the same weight as a waterfall mod, except it's got more momentum. As you can see here, it's full green, and this this spins well. It's got a lot of momentum and such. So. <clears throat> So, I'm going to go ahead and tell you how I take pen spinning, and this is how I think would be a way that you should take pen spinning if you were like an average pen spinner, you don't want to get really involved in the pen spinning, um, you don't want to get crazy about it like some people are, and this is, this is really how I think it should be. <clears throat> you pen spin in class, during school, make a mod or two when you get home, um, I mean, what I do is... Actually, at my high school, I started a pen spinning club, and, you know, I, I get hate from that from other people, you know, saying I'm on there and such. But the pen spinning club, we meet, like, in the morning, once a month, um, I guess for, like, 20 minutes, just to talk about pen spinning for a bit. So it's not like I'm devoting, like, 100% of my time to spending time with the club just talking about pen spinning like crazy. Because, I mean, personally... I have things to do besides that. I mean, pen spinning, I do it in class. I, It's fun, I'll have to admit. It's fun, but I don't want to go home and be pen spinning for like an hour. And, I mean, uh, it's it's a great topic to talk about my friends, I know, but, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, crazy. I, I don't sit around all day and pen spin. I mean, I have homework, I, I skate, I do other stuff. So, I mean, I like to have a good even balance. But, I mean, for me, when it comes to progressing in pen spinning, I, I, I don't, I mean, I progress kind of slow. Recently, I've been going faster just because I stopped using my buster as much. But, 
I mean, progression time is in class. In class, is a great time to progress in pen spinning because you can just sit around, half pay attention, half screw around with a new trick or combo or hybrid or whatever you're doing. And, I mean, in my opinion, if I just keep doing that during class, just, you know, getting there or, you know, just screwing around, practicing and such, I will eventually probably be a pretty good pen spinner. But, I mean... I'm going to say when I go to college, out of high school, pen spinning is definitely going to slow for me. I'm, I mean, I'm probably going to sell most of my mods up there, keep like one or two. I mean, I'll probably spin, but I probably won't be trying to progress as much. Just probably like every once in a while, you know, get the spinning pen out of the dusty box on my shelf and mess around with it. Because, I mean, pen spinning is not a profession. It's not... It's not like a professional sport. I mean, it's fun and all. I, I, I'm i decently involved in the community, but I don't make collabs or anything. I'll probably make one. I mean, I talk to a lot of people on the board. Ugh. I make these videos, but this is just because I'm bored. Um, but otherwise, I mean, that's probably when I'm going to stop pen spinning as much. And I mean, do I have a problem with that right now? Mm. I mean, I like my pens and all, but uh, by then, I mean, I'm probably going to... I guess, in a sense, move on in my life, and I'd like to say that's, like, kind of what Tech did, you know, he's selling all his pens right now, going to college, I mean, like, like I was told by a moderator, the uh, median age for people on UPSB is 13 years old, I mean, there's not a lot of adults, uh, the oldest is, I think, around 30 plus ish, and that's, like, an exception, most of them, most moderators are around 20, so... I mean, pen spinning isn't something you do, I guess, in your adulthood. I mean, even if I keep it up, then I'm probably going to get arthritis. It's just going to go downhill for me. But, I mean, currently what I'm doing is... Uh, I'm getting kind of old school. I'm doing old school combos, tricks. Um, Like, the two pens I'm primarily using right now is... Uh, using this mod right here, which is like a Comsa with a RSVP tap on the back with a you know grip jammed up it and you know sealer gel and hdg so this is this is this is this is a heavier mx and but it's not like momentum really so i mean it spins good it's great for learning new tricks combos i mean i love this thing because it doesn't weigh a ton but it's still a great mod and then when i'm going to more power tricks and stuff i'll probably break out one of these as you can see here orange dr kt gold tips and this really isn't a i mean this is an exception i have uh, if you can kind of see i have rsvp cap cut right there and then these are comps of caps this is a mr sketch body and then you know i have the more traditional uh dr kt you know with the normal grips you know uh, actually i actually have a creole super dips body on this but uh I have normal caps and such so i mean i just I normally bring those two mods to school. I mean, I'll spin with these. These are nice, but I'm probably just going to end up selling them someday. I've probably spent too much money on mods, but I mean, I'll just, you know, practice in school. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, progress, do various tricks. I mean, and really, I, for me, pen spinning, I don't wake up every morning and be like, yes, I get to progress. I go to school, I'm like, hey... I don't have much better to do, might as well just start spinning. And I'm not saying I don't like pen spinning when I say that, I'm just saying, I mean, I'm not like extremely serious about it. I mean, I don't obsess over learning new tricks and such, but um, I mean, I'm all out of time for now, so uh, just keep spinning. I mean, do, do it however you want, this is just how... I mean, it's probably going to be with a lot of people, especially my age group, a lot of people in my club. Just That's just kind of what we do. Um, thanks for watching the video. Six people who are actually watching this. Uh, have a great day.